An Aviation Routine Weather Report, or METAR, is an hourly report of local weather conditions in the vicinity of an airport. These weather conditions include winds, visibilities, weather conditions, cloud coverage and heights, temperature, dew point, and the altimeter setting. The first item in the METAR is the type of report. METAR indicates a routine report, whereas SPECI indicates a special. A special is issued when a rapid weather change or critical information necessitates a new weather report be issued immediately. Otherwise, a routine report is issued once per hour. The next is the location identifier, followed by the date and time. In this example, this routine weather report for the Kansas City Downtown Airport was issued on the 12th day of the month at 1054 Zulu time. The three-digit wind direction relative to true north and two-digit wind velocity are given next. The example METAR shows winds from 320 degrees at 22 knots. In this case, the winds are gusting to 35 knots. Visibility is the greatest distance that can be seen throughout at least 180 degrees of the horizon and is reported in statute miles. The example visibility is two statute miles. At times of low visibility, where the airport is equipped, Runway Visual Range, or RVR, will be reported in addition. RVR is reported in feet for a particular runway. For example, R5 slant 900 feet would indicate the RVR on runway 5 is only 900 feet. An M prior to the visibility indicates less than. For example, M 1 quarter SM would indicate visibility is less than 1 quarter statue mile. After the visibility, weather conditions are coded using their contractions. The weather conditions include types of precipitations and obscurations. Types of precipitation include drizzle, rain, snow, snow grains, ice crystals, ice pellets, hail, snow pellets, and unknown precipitation. Obscurations include mist, fog, smoke, volcanic ash, widespread dust, sand, haze, and spray. These weather conditions have several descriptors, which are shallow, partial, patches, low drifting, blowing, showers, thunderstorms, and freezing, and other possible METAR weather conditions include dust or sand whirls, squall, sandstorm, dust storm, funnel cloud, tornado, or water spout. If a weather condition is preceded by a minus or plus sign, it is light or heavy respectively. For example, plus TSRA means thunderstorms with heavy rain. If VC is listed in the weather portion of a METAR, it indicates the weather is between 5 and 10 statute miles from the observation station. For example, VCSH means there are showers in the vicinity between 5 and 10 statute miles from the station. Next is cloud coverage and heights. Cloud coverage is described as few, scattered, broken, or overcast. Few means the cloud layer covers 2 eighths of the sky or less. Scattered means the layers cover 3 or 4 eighths of the sky. Broken clouds cover 5, 6, or 7 eighths of the sky, and an overcast layer covers 8 eighths of the sky. The three numbers following the sky coverage indicate the height above the ground of the cloud bases in hundreds of feet. The example METAR tells us there are a few clouds at 1,200 feet above the ground, a scattered layer at 2,200 feet, and an overcast layer at 3,500 feet. The lowest cloud layer that is broken or overcast is called the ceiling. In this case, the ceiling is 3,500 feet. Sometimes overcast skies will have no well-defined base. When indefinite ceilings exist at an airport, vertical visibility may be reported. For example, VV003 would indicate an indefinite ceiling with a vertical visibility of 300 feet. Temperature and dew point are given next in degrees Celsius. 
This example shows a temperature of 9 degrees with a dew point of 4. If the temperature or dew point is negative, the negative temperature is preceded by the letter M. For example, a temperature of minus 2 with a dew point of minus 3 would be coded as M02 slant M03. After the temperature and dew point comes the altimeter setting. In this example, the altimeter setting is 2978. Here is an example METAR for Portland, Maine, issued on the third day of the month at 0612 Zulu time. Auto after the date and time indicates the METAR was generated from an automated source. COR may be placed in this position to indicate a correction to a METAR that was originally issued with an error. The winds are reported as calm, which is indicated on a METAR by all zeros for the wind direction and speed. The visibility is one statute mile in mist with an overcast ceiling at 100 feet above the ground. The temperature and dew point are both 19 degrees and the altimeter setting is 2984. Here's another example, a report for Austin issued on the third day of the month at 0553 Zulu. It indicates winds from 310 degrees at 13 knots. The next item says the winds are variable between 270 degrees and 350 degrees. Variable wind direction is reported when the wind direction varies by more than 60 degrees and the wind speed is above 6 knots. The report goes on to state that the visibility was 10 statute miles with clear skies, temperature of 26 degrees, dew point of 14, and an altimeter setting of 3002. CLR in a METAR is used to indicate an automated weather source reports no clouds observed below 12,000 feet above the ground. If the METAR were to say SKC, this would mean the skies were manually observed to be clear. METARs also often have remarks included, such as in this example report from Wichita. After the altimeter setting, we are advised that a remark has been added. AO1 or AO2 means the remark was generated by an automated system. SLP is short for sea level pressure. Sea level pressure is reported in millibars. Since it is always fairly close to 1000 millibars, the sea level pressure is shortened to the last three digits on the report. SLP 107 means that the sea level pressure was 1010.7 millibars. SLP 997 would indicate the sea level pressure was 999.7 millibars. In this example, a sea level pressure of 1009.2 millibars is reported in the remarks. The numbers that follow are a more precise temperature and dew point report commonly added in the remarks section of METARs. The T stands for temperature, followed by four numbers indicating temperature and four numbers indicating dew point. The first of the four numbers will be a zero if the temperature or dew point is appropriate is positive, and a one if the reference temperature or dew point is negative. The next three digits state the temperature or dew point to the tenth of a degree. In this example, the Denver METAR lists the temperature as 19 degrees with a dew point of 8, and the remarks contain the additional information that the temperature is positive 19.4 degrees with a dew point of 7.8 degrees. Here are a few other examples of remarks that might be seen in a METAR. Atmospheric pressure rising rapidly. Atmospheric pressure is falling rapidly. The weather described is closer than 10 statute miles away. The weather described is further than 10 statute miles. Lightning, distant west. Occasional lightning, in cloud and cloud to ground. Showers in the vicinity to the east. Automated weather reporting indicates thunderstorm began at 2-5 minutes past the hour. Thunderstorm overhead moving east. Peak wind was from 2-8-0 at 4-5 knots and occurred at 15 minutes past the hour.
wind shift begin at 30 minutes past the hour and is associated with frontal passage. Tower visibility is one half mile. Frequent lightning in the vicinity. Lightning distant west. Rain showers began at five minutes past the hour and ended at 30 minutes past the hour. Snow showers began at 20 minutes past the hour and ended at 55 minutes past the hour. Rain ended and snow began at 42 minutes past the hour. Thunderstorm began at time 0159 Zulu and ended at 0230 Zulu. Thunderstorm southeast moving northeast. Hail size is 1 inch. Ceilings variable between 500 and 1,000 feet above the ground. Cumulonimbus clouds to the west, moving east. Cumulonimbus mammatus clouds overhead. Sea level pressure not available, as in not operating.